So the whole point is just to get people down that funnel to buy. So for example, the way a retargeting campaign would work is that if you just see a video, so let's just say I, I'm doing a video and you just watch the video, but you don't do anything else. I'm not going to retarget you and say, hey, buy my shit. I'm gonna retarget you and say, hey, come to my page because that's the next step. You don't just skip steps. Then once you're on the page, if you don't do anything else, I'm not gonna retarget you and say, hey, buy. I'm gonna say, hey, check out this product. I'm gonna try to get you to add it to your car. And then once you add it to your car, I'll try to get you to buy. Yeah, exactly. You you wanna you wanna see this? <laughs> Go. You guys you guys ready? I I actually got a joke for you real quick before I introduce this thing. Okay. What did the left eye say to the right eye? There's a nose in between us. Between you and me, something smells. <laughs> Johnny, thought, Johnny thought that was hilarious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, <it's- laughs> <laughs> All right. Welcome to the Ecom Profit Podcast. I am your host, Laz Chavez. He is your host, Richard Motherfucking Toe. There it is, guys. There it is, Ali. You see? We have, have to we have go have today. I've gone through this shit like 14 times already. <laughs> this is a 14th podcast. <laughs> we have an audience today out here. We got Johnny with the vape, we got Alexis with the hoodie. Yo, I wish people could see you right now. You look, you look amazing. Can you can you come on camera real quick? Like, oh shit, you're looking good, man. Yeah, just just come on real quick. Show the people your your beautiful face. I like actually gonna come into the rapid fire section, and like, yeah, just just come in here with me. Look at this guy. This guy isn't he a cutie? <laughs> <laughs> That's our media buyer right there for you guys. Uh, we have we have Ale here in the room as well. Ale, up, everyone? close friend from. Way back in the day, middle, middle school. school. I was gonna say high school, middle yeah, school. Middle Holy school. Shit. Damn, bro, we've gone. Ale brought us cookies today, so thank you, you man. Know, Ale, as long as you bring us cookies, you're welcome here any day of the week. <laughs> no, we, love, we love Ale. Ale's an amazing friend, um, and grateful for you. So, what so, are we talking about? Is it retargeting? Is it retargeting? I think retargeting yeah. is pretty good because sure. it just happened to us today. Sure, we don't right? we don't know what we're talking about this podcast, but you you would think that we that we knew a thing or two or two about retargeting. Yeah, Do you guys know what retargeting think? is, by the way? No. So, so I'll explain it to you guys because Laz and I we were just failing at this, and we shouldn't be after four years of doing this shit. So basically, when you run ads, you run ads to a cold audience. A cold audience is people who don't know you. Okay. People have absolutely no idea who you are. You run ads to them and you get them into your system. Our system is our Instagram, our our email list, our texting list, everything. And then you try to sell them on something. Well, those people, a lot of them don't buy at first. So then what happens is that they get retargeted. You keep running ads to them because if they keep seeing you over and over and over and over again, they're going to eventually buy from you. So what Laz and I were doing was that we were just getting cold people, cold people, cold people. And we're like, shit, why are we not selling? And then today it hit us that we're not retargeting anyone. So that's sad. basic, uh, basic retargeting for you right there. <clears throat> well, you know, yeah. well, you know what happens? I think with us, uh, we do so many things sometimes like we, cause we, we, we've ran retargeting ads before. Yeah. But then like, we like, we'll be like, oh, this shit isn't working. It's not doing anything. We shut everything off and then sales suffer. And we're like, why isn't this working? What are we doing wrong? Yeah. Why was it working before? And then that's most yep. likely the reason why. And and something interesting too, which a lot of people who don't run ads, they don't know this, but companies, they actually, they do run a lot of money, right? So people do run a lot of money in ads, but, some, but people think that they run more than what they actually run. Because all it is is that they get you in cold. So if you ever like click on an ad or something, do you ever notice how you, you keep seeing that ad over and over again? Do you ever notice that? Or like if you talk, even now on your phone, like if you talk that you wanna buy, let's say a Toyota, and you say, oh, Toyota, 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 and then you eventually start getting Toyota ads. Yeah. Well, they're not really running that many ads, they're just retargeting you. And it's a yeah. lot cheaper. So for example, if I want to show an ad to Laz and he's cold, to show an ad to him, maybe it'll cost me a dollar versus to show it to you since you're already on my list, it'll cost me like two pennies. It's super cheap, super cheap to retarget and people convert a lot better on retargeting. Yeah. Literally when you go on to any website, if you see a product or something like that, like with e-commerce, this is like one of the main things that we do. Yeah. Um, you see a product and you're gonna keep seeing that product like forever until you buy it. Um, you literally just target anyone who's seen that product, who's landed on that page, 
and hasn't purchased the product, you just keep seeing it over and over again yeah. until. That's like, why if you were to ever click on one of our e-com ads, well, right now we're, we're not even doing retargeting for e-com ads. We're, we're slacking. We're, yeah, and that's we're our media, Alexis is our media buyer. So you're fucking slacking. <laughs> Set up some fucking retargeting <laughs> ads. Set up some retargeting <laughs> ads. Dude, but if you ever click on one of our e-commerce ads, you know back when Laz and I used to run the ads and now have incompetent people running the ads. Damn. <laughs> I think Alexis, he, is he writing a rap over there? I think he's writing a rap so when he comes on the podcast, he's going to start slaying, <laughs> slaying people on this. So, when, when dude, if you were to ever click on one of our e-com ads, you would get fucking retargeted. You would just buy the to product death. to stop yeah. seeing the ads. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. That's why everyone saw Nicole when we sold the reverse umbrella. Did you ever see her ad or no? No. Did you ever click on it? Okay. When oh, we, what? Yeah. Dude. <laughs> lucky, lucky, you're, dude, you're when one we lucky ran, guy. You yeah. survived. Those things. Yeah, when we ran <laughs> the survived. reverse umbrella, that we, we made, dude, we made a shitload of money with that item. That makes uh, sense though, because I did a reservation this week for Smith and Walensky. <laughs> Uh -huh. oh. oh, you've been seeing all oh, the steak, <laughs> the steak ads. Yeah, yeah. Reserve now a table, and so I'm like, I already did. Yeah, yeah. steak ads, oh, probably too. Like just it's, like a bunch of different steak houses yeah. right now. That's all well, that could even be cold ads, though. That, that yeah, could yeah. be cold ads. It's only if you get. So now, for example, you know how you did a reservation. Damn, where are you going to Smith and Willis? Yeah, by you didn't know what's a special bro, occasion. Wait, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> My dad's birthday this week. Nice. Trying to take him out, you know. Nice. Celebrating life. So, um, Dude, no, retargeting is that now, like they'll probably start sending you coupon codes and they'll start sending you more things just to basically get you to spend more money with them. Yeah. And it's gonna work. No, it's working. You're gonna go back to them yeah. and, and you're gonna spend more money with them eventually because of all the retargeting that they do. And it's extremely cheap for, so that's basically how companies, how they run really big budgets because a lot of the times when you run cold budgets, for us at least, we're not, like we don't make money, bro. We lose money. So imagine we run ads and we lose money, but the money is made once you, cause you run ads and people see your page, people click on your page. So once you have that audience of people who clicked, who people who viewed all that stuff, then you retarget them and that's where you make the money. Yeah. And that's why a lot of, a lot of new people who start this business, they're not successful yeah, because they, they don't retarget. Yeah, it's a lot easier to close someone who is has already some experience with you, has already it's a warm it's warm traffic as opposed to someone who like just is seeing your stuff for the first time. You know, you don't trust them. You're like, oh, who the hell is this? But then after a while, if you keep seeing their ad, they're like, damn, these people must be legit. Um, it just makes it easier. Yeah, Johnny, how long have we been going for? Seven minutes. Seven. Should we go a little longer? Yeah. Talk about retargeting. What yeah. else can we say about retargeting? What's cold budget? Cold. Cold, cold, cold audience? Yeah, cold audience. Basically, someone who's never seen your ad before oh. that doesn't know who you are, doesn't know anything about you. Uh, if you're talking about like products, you've never it's a product that you've never seen before, so you just see it for the first time. You've never gone to a website. Those are all cold, uh, yeah. cold ads. So it's the first time that you're seeing a product, a service, a website. Those are, that's like, a, you're cold to that. Uh, thing yeah and, and then once you click on the click on the website or uh look at the product or look at the offer now you're a warm lead yeah. and because, there's certain degrees of warm like yeah like if you just watch the video you're warmer but you're not that warm if you click you're a little warmer mm -hmm. if you click on the product you're even warmer if you click on checkout but you don't buy you're even warmer you're getting high and then when you buy then it's just like getting you to spend more money but yeah. there's different levels to to I guess how warm you are, or how, yeah. how deep down the sales funnel you are. It's all yeah. the sales, it's all the funnel. So the fun at the top, at the bottom is purchase and at the top it's just everyone. And they just bring people in and then they, they first watch the video, they see the page, they add to car and then they buy. So the whole point is just to get people down that funnel to buy. So for example, the way a retargeting campaign would work is that if you just see a video, so let's just say I, I'm doing a video and you just watch the video, but you don't do anything else. I'm not going to retarget you and say, hey, buy my shit. I'm gonna retarget you and say, hey, come to my page because that's the next step. You don't just skip steps. Then once you're on the page, if you don't do anything else, I'm not gonna retarget you and say, hey, buy. I'm gonna say, hey, check out this product. I'm gonna try to get you to add it to your car. And then once you add it to your car, I'll try to get you to buy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's just baby, baby steps. steps. And there's the same thing that happens once you purchase a product too. There's a, yeah. what, what's called the value ladder. So let's say you buy, you, they get you to buy their like entry level product. And, and almost all companies have some sort of 
thing that works like this, like the successful ones, they get you to buy an entry level product. Maybe it's something cheaper, you know, something that, you know, you, you spend some money with them at first. And now once you spend that money, you're more likely to spend more money with them. If you like the product, you know, if you, if you like the brand, if you like what you, what you got in return, you're like, wow, this stuff is really good. So then they start showing you their next, what's their next thing, you know, something that's a little bit more pricey. And then they put you the next step in the ladder. And then it just, each thing costs more money. It, it's higher on the value, on the value ladder. So they, they just, you know, it's easier to just get, get you to keep buying stuff than to try to get new people to start buying their thing. Yeah. yeah. And that, and you're extremely warm because you're already, you've already spent some money with them. So it's extremely easy to. Yeah. Yeah, you you trust you trust, and that's I think that's the hardest thing when you're when you're dealing with cold audiences. It's it's a trust. Yeah. If you if whoever's paying you or buying your product doesn't trust you, you're not gonna be able to sell it. Yeah. No. Once you buy, dude. I mean, you're you're just you're an asset to the company. They can you can you're gonna keep buying over and over again because you're free. Like at this point, retargeting, retargeting is not free because you have to spend money to retarget. Well, a lot of retargeting is not free, but once you buy that they have that email that you already bought and they know exactly what you bought, when you bought it, what time of the year. At that point, bro, like they, they're they free. So if they send you a text, an email or anything, that's just free. So if you buy, it's just free money coming into them. Yeah. Do you guys think if it was like common knowledge to people who buy stuff that they know like how it works, like all that retargeting stuff, do you think they would be more or less likely to buy? I, I think if people knew, so if people knew, I think they can use it to their advantage. Because if they go, like, for example, me, let's say I'm going on the website and I want to buy a pair of shoes or something and I go and I know how it works. So maybe I can go, I can add it to my cart. I'll add that shit to the cart like three times, abandon the checkout, do all that stuff. And I'll just wait for them to start sending me the discount codes to, to get me to buy. Yeah. So, so you can use it to your advantage if, yeah. if you knew. Yeah. I've, I've done stuff like that. Uh, when I see like a product on Insta or something, I like engage with it. So I keep on getting like retargeted by them because like even if i don't have the money at that point like yeah i want to keep on like retargeting so i don't forget and you can do it too with your competition too I, if if i had a shoe brand and i want to see what my competitors are doing i just start clicking on all their ads and then you start getting retargeted by them and you see exactly what it is that we do that all the time yeah we literally do that with yeah. everything with our courses with with our e-com products we, we do yeah. with everything because we want to see what other people their strategy towards and then that makes us you know, if there's something that they're doing that's really good and we really like it, we're like, wow, this, this is really working for them. We can implement it for us now, too. So it's like a great way to spy on what yeah, other people are doing as well. All yeah. these like strategies, it's only like huge companies doing it. But like anybody could like do that. Like, of course. And stuff and like, yeah. People think it's like. Of course. Yeah. It's why reinvent the wheel when you can use something that, you know, is working already yeah small companies do it all the time yeah. and it's and it's the, one of the main reasons why a lot of the new people don't are not successful in e-commerce because they're just trying to go after that those cold people who have no idea who they are and they have this big pool of people who they never retarget and they they just don't know how much money they can extract from that list yeah we do it all the time here with the phone calls and all the stuff that we do we we get a list that's not profitable and we turn it profitable within the next within the next several weeks so we can pay ten thousand dollars for a list of people the first week we only extracted let's say seven thousand dollars but within like a month after that we've extracted 20 because yeah. of all the retargeting that goes into it afterwards yeah. that and that's why there's so much money in data yeah because people you know like facebook uh google youtube they they make so much money because they know what people like so basically what they're doing is they're giving up their audience so that you can target them however but you're paying them for advertising and they're making a ton of money because you know they're making money on on, on your yeah on your daughter money on everything. Uh, money on everything on everything so so that's i mean retargeting is huge yeah it's yeah it's good i think that's good for retargeting um this is this was a short episode a little uh a little very informative though a little informative banger we're actually sh should how much how much time do we have johnny oh uh, we're like 12 minutes in 12 minutes in yeah, I think I think that's good. We're going to hop on over to audio only section. Uh, the way that this works, people, my people. This will be the last one, though. The yeah, this this will be the last. Well, actually, no, we'll, we'll still run the audio only, but we actually have a third mic. Oh, okay. So now we're like, if we have other people jumping on the podcast, we're they'll gonna just have be here. They'll be here with us. We, we'll talk to them, interview style. Sometimes maybe Richard and I will just talk shit here, but. Yeah, the way that this works, people, if you this is the first time that you're watching this podcast, 
The way this works, again, I've said that like three times. We go on YouTube. How does this work? The way that this works <laughs> is that we do this. We're on camera. We say, say hello. And you guys can see our beautiful faces. And then after, after this section, we hop on over to the podcast side, the Apple podcast, Spotify podcast, all major podcast platforms. And we do a little rapid fire today. We're going to have our man, Alexis. He's going to join us today. He's, he still hasn't done a Q&A with us. So it's your time. It's your time to shine. So yeah, guys, this is it for the YouTube section. If you want to listen to the podcast on all those platforms, Go down the link below in the description somewhere down there. Johnny puts that down there. What is it called, Johnny? Is it Anchor? Yeah. Anchor. Anchor. FM. Anchor. Anchor. FM. Uh, it has links to Apple, Spotify, all the major podcast platforms, so you can listen on the go. So guys, remember to like, comment down below what you want to learn about, so we can talk about it on this podcast, and subscribe. subscribe. Very important. So here we're gonna cut. Alexis, <laughs> you guys just fucking let out, nasty. Let out no, it doesn't cut, bro. The audio keeps rolling, so everyone's gonna listen to that yeah, nasty ass burp. Yeah. It doesn't cut. No, yeah, the audio's not. still going. Yeah, the audio. You gotta come up now. Yeah, yeah, come up. That was Step Alexis, up to the plate. By the way. That's that's his introduction. Yeah, this is fucking animals yeah. that we deal with. Right here.